Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's been uh, quite a while since we put up our last video uh, on YouTube, um, simply because the pandemic has forced us to uh, lock down the site so many times. Um, we've had to kind of go around different trades that we had lined up, so I've done an awful lot of the work uh, in the meantime. Um, just to save us some money and just to kind of keep things rolling on. Um, so what I wanted to do today is actually just give everyone a quick uh, kind of show around as to what we've done. I think the last time we uh, put the video up, it was kind of showing us uh, uh, demolishing the existing porch area and then going out into the new extension porch that we had. Uh, we'd already built the foundations and the walls up for. Um, so since then, that's all been roofed. Um, all of the roof has been finished off at the back of the house. And we're literally just finishing off plastering on the outside. Um, so all the inside is already skimmed. We kind of did it the wrong way around. We did inside and then outside. And I'll explain a little bit later why. Um, but I want to just give a, 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 a quick show around. Anyway, in a quick video, um, as we are about to head into another lockdown now. So we're going to have possibly four to six weeks of no trades on site. Um, so it's going to be a bit of a... Uh, it's going to be a bit of a delay that we're going to have but uh, fortunately enough um with the kitchen and all that being ordered and different things like that all of that shut down as well so it's kind of like a six week break as far as uh everyone's concerned but for me i'm going to keep on going because we're going to be heading into painting and everything's like that now so uh we can keep on going with all of that because it's just me on site um so yeah so let's have a, a quick walk around um as you can see i'm actually standing in that porch we were demolishing so the old wall i'm kind of standing where the old uh, wall was that big piece of uh concrete that we took out would have been up behind that section there and we've added on obviously and now all of our windows and doors are fitted as well so um you know there's going to be a big change if you guys look back at the previous videos and then pop on to this video then you're going to see a big big change but what i'll do is i'll run through absolutely everything that we've done and we'll start at the front door here great so here we are and um, this is our new entrance way so as you can see we've got our really nice uh, doors fitted there from rationale that is their 1.1 meter door um so just a standard door section and then two fixed lights either side so it's the biggest door that they do and um, it's just basically to give as large an entrance as we possibly can our hallway is almost two meters wide so having a bigger door there made sense so we don't have as much wall space so really happy with how the windows and doors all went in so they're an alu clad uh, timber frame window so we went for a slightly off-white color on the windows and then the outside is done in ral 7016 so i'll show you that a little bit later but as you can see we've uh, got everything plastered up now there's a bit of mold growing there just because of the drying out process obviously we're in the middle of winter now so you don't get as much drying uh, at this time of year as you would in the summer but the guys actually plastering were very very happy with um the temperatures and all that sort of stuff because it it allowed them to work with the plaster a little bit more so they were really really happy and um, there was a bit of uh rejigging to be done in this hallway because the hallway walls were kind of running off so we had to actually dot and dab um, and bond out some of the wall areas before we put our fresh plasterboard on and you'll be able to see in the doorway exactly what we've done so any of the external um walls we put an insulated slab onto as well as pumping all of the cavities so obviously on our new section here underneath the window uh that's a new section but we left a cavity i think the cavity there is about 120 mil and that's all pumped as well as having an insulated board so anywhere that we could we put 100 mil on and uh for everywhere else it was somewhere between 50 and 80 mil so all that wall section there for example that's all 100 mil uh, insulated board and then 12 and a half mil uh, slab so we've really kind of insulated as much as we possibly can when we put in our screed uh, underfloor heating all of that sort of stuff and turn on the heating we should be able to keep all of the heat in the house and then obviously with the outside being rendered um it's going to completely encapsulate the building and then we put in our mbhr unit that'll be going in in a few weeks time there's two of them going in actually um for the, for the house and uh, that's going to mean that we've got really good airflow really good heat exchange all around the building so it should be uh pretty well dried out uh, within the next few weeks there's still just a few damp spots but that's about it we also decided as well to not put in any window boards that was kind of a late decision we decided to just do very simple framed windows and you'll see the benefit why 
uh, when we go out into the large extension that we have because it reframes the view that we're going to have. We're going to be taking down hedging and stuff at the back of the house. So uh, it's really going to frame all of that up. And I'll go outside later on and I'll show you everything that we have outside um, all of the render and stuff like that. So obviously going down the uh, hallway here, you can see if I come into the door frame here, you can see kind of the makeup of what we've done here. So we have basically our standard board here and then we have 50 mil uh, insulation and then we had to pack out obviously with a little bit of boards to bring this in line with the rest of the hallway same here and then we had to dot and dab the walls because all the walls were running off if i spin around here you can kind of see the walls so that's all dot and dabbed inside and then we have our standard board and then uh, the makeup of our frame so we'll be putting our door frame we're going to make up all of our door frames for all of this um, so each one of them is going to be bespoke just to make it all work but it was just to try and get all the walls plumb as much as we can and now obviously coming into the formal sitting room you can see we've changed out that front window so if anybody has looked back at the previous videos you'll you'll remember the old mahogany windows that we had in there all gone and we've gone for these large kind of picture windows um, wherever we can uh, so as I said these are from Rationale so they have a opening section here they just open with a child lock like that or you can pull them down basically and um, pull all of that down and open the window and that's the window fully open there so uh, you can do the same on the other side and then on the two other windows here just to bring light in they're full fixed light systems so again as much of the frame out as we possibly could and then just our straight panel there so no window board so it's just a really nice picture frame window um really really happy they're all triple glazed windows as well so you know they're really uh good for sound insulation not that we need too much sound insulation out here because we're out in the countryside but um the heat retention as well on a warm day uh, obviously we're not having many of them at the moment but on a warm day when the sun comes through the velux it, they really do hold in all of the heat and then once we get the screed in um our underfloor heating and all of that it's going to really really be nice and warm and cozy so we're really happy with the size of this room obviously we've got our stud wall here put in and that has a staircase going up through the center of the house so we have a little temporary staircase in you can see our little fan there trying to heat the give us a bit of warmth so that's a really nice uh little cavity that we've made there used to be a wall here so we've all of that all the way up so it's really nice kind of like a, a gallery style and then we have this here we're going to put a little glass balustrade at the top there right at the end so we actually finish that all off i'll show you we finished all that off with a stop bead now it is a little bit fragile you can't step on it but once we put in the flooring and run that over put in a little edging piece and then what will happen is we'll have our glass balustrade so it'll be really nice and crisp looking we'll paint right up to that um i'll run through the upstairs in a little while but we'll come back downstairs We'll walk down through the house and then we'll go out into the extension so we've got our bedrooms here we're just slowly cleaning these out as we go as you can see there's quite a bit of mold but you can actually just rub that straight off it's only surface mold so got a little mop there from uh, aldi and we're going to um a little flat mop so we'll do that dry and we'll put a mask on as we're going through each of the rooms and wipe it all down before we do any painting we have our plant room all ready to go so an awful lot of pipes and cables and everything else in there so uh, we have a little cavity at the top here we're not really too worried about how this looks because obviously it's going to be closed off our tanks are going to be going in there we're going to have a large 80 module consumer unit and then we're going to have a full uh, server there as well to run all of our internet stuff so it's going to be fairly packed it's going to be quite warm so we've got an mbhr pipe going in there as well to suck out all of the warm air and bring that around the rest of the house to try and use that as much as possible and then we have another bedroom here we're putting wardrobes in those cavities as you can see the rationale windows again now with these ones they're slightly different so they don't open in the same way they literally just push out like that and we decided to pay a little bit extra and with these usually the mullion in the center is fixed with these it opens fully out so that means we can open the windows fully like that so those are the windows that are in all of the bedrooms um, and upstairs in our gables as well and then for the, uh, bathrooms and playroom and stuff like that that's all going to be uh, tilt and turn uh, for those areas so really happy with those windows and then we come around we've got our bathroom 
ready to fit out. So you can see some of the floors, there's little boards running across. That's actually where we ran our waste pipes. So we have our stud wall there with our built-in toilet from Growy. And we have our waste pipes coming down. So I'm going to be filling those in in the next few days. And then we have our little shower uh, opening here. So we actually decided to go for, and I'll, I'll show this in another video, we decided to go for a Villaroy and Bach um, shower tray rather than doing a walk-in wet room style thing. So it just kind of makes it a little bit easier to control the water in the space. I'm not really a big fan of wet rooms. So with these, we've got kind of awkward measurements. Like I think that there is 1660. So it's quite difficult, obviously, when you're working with standard measurements, you know, 15, 16, 17, 1800 on your shower trays. But luckily with the Villaroy and Bach ones, you can actually cut them up to 100 millimeters around the edge. So we're going to be able to cut them with the skill saw on both sides and fit them perfectly in. So we'll rough those in with our wastes uh, when they arrive there due from Germany in the next few days. We'll rough all of them in, bring in our wastes um shoot them out through the wall and then have everything set up we'll pour our uh floor insulation we're doing a poor floor insulation uh underfloor heating pipes and our screed and then we can set that in with a little bit of mortar and just beat around the edge and then we're going to be doing a herringbone tile um in the shower area which i'll show in another video so as you can see we have our rationale tilt and turn so we can open that right out like that and just give a little bit of airflow into the room or we can close it completely again and open it fully. So it's actually really nice, really, really happy with that window. And same one in the playroom and we have the same ones in all of the bathrooms as well. So um, if we ever need them as a fire escape as well, we can use those. So that's our main bathroom. And then walking around into our guest bedroom. Again, same with the windows. We've got our fixed, uh, we've got our movable mullion and then we have our guest ensuite. So again, growy showers in there. We have our cable for our LED mirror and then we have our pipes in there and we'll be running our waste again for that. And then we have our tilt and turn window there as well. All this stuff is a little bit grubby. We need to go and clean it after the plastering and we'll do that soon. You're kind of better off waiting for the plaster to dry and then it comes off that bit easier. So now we're into our walk-in wardrobe. So it's actually quite a good size, but we'll close in a little bit when we have our cabinets in there. Another little fan, nice little bit of heat when you walk by. And then we have our ensuite for our master bedroom. So we're going to be putting in our growy uh, shower there with our Villaroy and Bach um, shower tray. We have a window directly across from the shower. We're gonna have a double vanity unit in there, two LED mirrors, and then we have our built-in toilet in the wall there. So we've done an awful lot of this ourselves. As you can see, the floor is dug out there as well for our waste, so we'll be filling that in pretty soon. As you can see, all of our lighting is cut in as well. Um, so we have some really nice built-in lighting going in, fully voice controlled as well with Google Home. And then this is coming out into our master bedroom. So we've got this all cleaned out. So it's actually really nice, really, really bright in the space. Good bit of mold from all the drying out. As you can see, that wall is still drying a little bit as well. So there was a lot of kind of um, back and forth on that wall just to try and get everything straight because it's the old back of the house and then running into a stud wall. So we had to kind of fill out a little bit, but it worked out really, really well. It's nice and plumb. And then obviously our wall runs right through from the start of the extension all the way through. So this is quite a big room. This is 40 square meters in total. And then we have our two large Velux there as well. They're UK 08 that we have in there. So they're the second from the top as far as Velux go. And they're full solar uh, powered as well. So we're going to be setting them up with an attack mode that's going to connect to our Google Home so we can voice control all of them as well. So they bring in loads of light, really, really happy with them. And we went for double glazed uh, with the Velux. I think I said that before um, for the solar game. We have our two fixed lights there as well. Because the room is open, we're okay fire regs wise because you can walk right around. The bathroom's actually gonna be a full walk-in bathroom open. So you can actually get out that window if there is any issues. So then we continue back up the house. So you can see we've got our stairs going on. That's only a temporary unit. We have all of our lighting in there as well. 
we have two rows of lights in our main hallway and that was simply not because we didn't have enough lighting in the space just with the way the joists were running there's actually joists running right down the center so we couldn't get a really good center line so what we decided to do was put in two smaller seven watt units and do a double row of them so uh so that should look quite good and then we ran that through into the playroom and the opening into our large extension then we have our playroom here it's quite a good size a few pieces to go back to the wholesalers there we have our double doors going in here as well and then we're going to have some cabinets in that corner um over there uh, and then we're going to have a tv on that wall and just some bean bags for the kids we have our tilt and turn window there and then swinging right around we come into our utility so we actually decided to kind of splurge a little bit on our kitchen and utility so we've actually got two rows of cabinets as you walk into this room so there's going to be cabinets on this side and cabinets on that side so we're going to have a built-in coffee machine area coffee dock we're going to have a dishwasher underneath all of that and we're going to have an opening they're going to be kind of high presses we're going to have an opening with a countertop sink etc and then we're going to have our washer and dryer at kind of a nice level to work with and some drawers underneath for our dirty clothes and some storage up above and then when we sing, swing around here a lot of people have commented on kind of the size of the door there so that's actually our under stairs uh, bathroom so we're actually going to have all of that built in uh, so that's all built in uh, wardrobes and it's going to be a hidden door so you're going to be able to walk through and you're going to come into the walk-in uh, here so it's quite dark at the moment but that's going to have a big led mirror there and then we have our pipes and our waste will be run out and then we have our um, toilet in underneath as well so again there's quite a large chase done on the floor there to bring our waste right out so we get out into the courtyard so that all has to be filled in as well and then we get over to the uh, the tank for uh, all of our waste and then the main feature of the house walking through the old back of the uh, original house is into our large extension so as you can see we've got it fairly cleared out now we just have a bay of scaffolding there on our wheels which came in very very handy we just need to do a little bit of fixing up at the top so you can see it's still drying out a little bit up at the top of the the back wall and then again up at this wall here still a few damp spots but this is the main feature of the house so we've got just over 70 square meters of space here we've got our two large sliders from rationale which are really really nice very happy with them and then we have our same v-looks that we have in our master bedroom we've got three either sides so six in total again all um solar powered so they'll be fully voice activated and as i said the reason why we decided to not put in window boards is for these three windows at the back which we continued for the rest of the house and they just really frame the view so that we'll leave that tree there we're going to take out all the hedging and you can get to see over the fields and the mountains at the back and it worked out really really well so it's going to be a nice height a little bit higher than where i'm standing now because we've got um 200 uh, or sorry 175 mil of underfloor uh insulation and screed to go in so we'll be up a little bit higher but very very happy with this and as i swing around we're going to see here we're going to have our kitchen go in the corner there so that's already designed we've got a large mantle going on the back wall to kind of fill that space as much as possible and then we have our down lights here as well and all of our fire stuff and our mbhr units so really really happy so the next stage really is to get the place fully cleaned out and then we're going to be able to go ahead and um pour our insulation and do our underfloor heating pipes and then put in our screed so once that's done we have to get everything powered up everything good to go for the underfloor and turn all that on and really dry the place out and then we're going to go ahead and start painting so for the painting as well we got a quote for actually painting the house just for labor and uh, no paint included it was sixteen and a half thousand euro so again what we've decided to do is we invested in a wagner spray machine and i'm actually going to go and do that myself because we just really can't spend sixteen and a half thousand plus the cost for paint and what's going to allow us to do as well is to spend a little bit more on better quality paint so we're kind of a bit happier about that it'll take a little bit more time because it's going to be me on my own but at least we know it's going to be done right and it'll be really good quality paint as well so coming up the top of the stairs you can see kind of get a view of what it's going to be like up here when all the floor is down we've got our herringbone floor all ordered that's actually on site already so we got that delivered and it's out in our, our garage that we have so and um, that'll be going down but as you can see it's a really nice opening that we've done there very very happy with that 
and then we've got our little storage room here that isn't plasterboarded yet simply because we were bringing down you can see the large black cable that's a 25 square cable for our upgraded electricity supply that is uh, that is only after being brought down through the cavity i did that the other day so uh, we need to now go and put 100 mil board on there and then uh, insulate a board we do a 50 mil where the spray foam is and then just standard boards fill in a bit of sound insulation and then this will be skimmed out when the plasters are back on site to finish the outside and then as you can see we have our same uh, double windows here so very happy with how they worked out and once the scaffolding's gone there'll be plenty of light coming in and as we walk through this is our new hallway so we have all of our stud walls built up again we didn't spend any money on carpenters we just did all that ourselves and this is our cinema room which is currently our storage room so but if i walk through you'll kind of get an idea we're going to put a little upstand over where all those boxes are and we're going to have a sofa at the back and another one at the front so they are already ordered we just need to have them delivered on the site when we're ready and you'll kind of get an idea if i step back and get an idea of what it's going to be like so we're going to have our tv built in we already have that it's in storage ready to go in we've got double ethernet connections so it's going to be two ethernet boxes four connections there and two double sockets so four power supplies as well as usb there um, and it's all going to be controlled down through the plant room so we have our internet down there already and that's all connected to the back of the house and that's uh, imagine broadband so it's all done through um wire wireless technology there's no cabling running into the house for that it's all off satellite and off uh, a tower so um it's really really good speed we're very very happy with that so we'll be putting our tv in there and we've got a nice carpet order for here real deep pile dark gray carpet so that'll look really well when it's all done as you can come through here we have our velux put in to give us a little bit of light and the uh, hallway turns as you know from previous videos we'll be walking down this area here and then the hallway turns and then we've got our bedroom slash office in this area we've got a bathroom and then another bedroom right at the end so we were kind of guessing with the sizing on this just to make it as big as we possibly could for each of the rooms but kind of worked out really well so um we've got our v-lux in there there's plenty of light in that space as well we have plenty of lighting going in as well into our hallway here so that's all going to be pir controlled so once you walk into the space it'll all turn on and it'll all be balanced off daylight so it'll give a nice kind of it won't be too intense uh, same in our bathrooms that's all pir controlled so any of our circulation spaces hallways bathrooms uh, that sort of thing they're all pir controlled for fans as well as for um our lighting and then we have boost switches outside each of the uh, each of the bathrooms so we another bee looks in there again plenty of light coming in so really happy with that we're gonna have a little platform there we're gonna have a uh, freestanding bath so that'll be going in and um, it should look really really nice and then we have our other bedroom so as you can see it's quite a good size we're gonna have some built-in cabinets over on this wall um, and then we've got our nice window there plenty of light coming in as you can see we've got our cavities put in here so this is where our mvhr units are going so we already have uh, little platforms built for them we have waste pipes running through as well um, and i'm not sure if it's going to be bright enough but as you can see we've got some little openings done into the wall and they're already foam so all of our pipes for our uh, supply and exhaust will be going through there and as you can see we spray foamed absolutely everything so very very happy with this the place is really really nice and warm um so that's all spray foamed and then anywhere inside a room that we have done we actually put a 50 mil board onto this as well so you've got 50 mils of insulation as well as your spray foam and um, just because of the old rafters of the house were only four and a half inches so like 110 115 mil so it just wasn't enough as far as the spray foam goes so we decided to just add on an insulated board just for a little bit of an extra cost but i think it's well worth it it'll keep all the heat in you know and then you can see when you look out here you can see the roof of the uh of the garage there as well so it's already done our velux at the end we might go through the garage on another video um because that building did work out really well we've got our utility room in there bathroom our storage area at the front with our two roller doors and then we also have um, the kitchen area at the back as well, which looks really, really good. 
so that's the inside of the house so um i hope you like the progress that we've done so far if you've any questions please pop them in the comments um i'm gonna pop up another video as well of the outside because um there's some really nice lime render that we've done on the outside limestone render um so it'd be quite interesting to look at that but uh please like and subscribe uh pop in the comment if you have any questions um, and also, if you want to, you can follow us on Instagram. It's uh, the Killer Reno on Instagram. You pop on there. We put up uh, pictures every few days uh, as to progress. So you can kind of see what we've been doing over the last few months. Um, but thanks for tuning in.